Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf? <laughs> this video is called Big Bad Wolf because I'm trying to wrap my head around this. This personally has not happened to me and it really hasn't happened in my family. Uh, there are certain cases where there is parental alienation where, you know, people like myself have, you know, adult children who then also have children, which means you know, I'm a grandma. And there are certain situations in which uh, the child, uh, let's just say if it was one of my daughters, had a child where I had already had an established relationship with my grandchild. And all of a sudden we have a falling out and my child now will not allow me to see my grandchild. This happens a lot, um, a lot more than we care to admit. And I just, <laughs> it hasn't happened to me personally. I have two daughters, youngest has, I believe four children and I haven't met her children. So this personally has not happened to me where my grandchildren have been pulled away and I have been denied access to them or denied the right to be a grandparent. So it, in, in an aspect I have been, but in, not in the aspect where there's already an established relationship. I'm kind of wondering what a child says to their children when they are no longer gonna see their beloved Nana and Papa. Is it that uh, the adult child now paints a picture of grandma and grandpa being big bad wolves? I don't know what is said to a child to help ease the pain when a parent refuses to allow them contact with a grandparent that they have loved, spent time with. Maybe the grandparent has raised the grandchildren, has been a significant part. Maybe they had to take over guardianship because their adult child was not able or was not able to care for their own children so they stepped up and became a, a parent again and uh, which is not easy when you're retired it's not easy to take over the role and, and most lovingly do it because they don't want to see their grandchildren suffer but what does an adult child tell their children when they're no longer able to see their nana and poppy or grandma and grandpa what do you tell them? Do you say that this person's the big bad wolf? Um, what kind of stories do you make up to help the child understand and wrap their head around the fact that they can't see this person who has loved them and cared for them? I think it's hard to understand unless you have been a parent and then become a grandparent that it's a totally different dynamic with grandchildren. As a parent, a loving parent disciplines, sets boundaries, says no, <laughs> puts their foot down and says, I want you to be a responsible adult and make something of yourself and also be self-sufficient and socially aware at the same time and be kind and caring to other people. And I believe I did that as a parent, but I, I, I think I messed up sometimes and it's a learning curve and I learned along the way and I wasn't perfect and I, I'm sure I did things that most people would cringe about. <laughs> but when you become a grandparent, it's not that you have a second chance to become a parent. It's just that now you play a different role and you don't have to be the tough guy. You don't have to. You're not with them 24 seven. So the time you have them, is usually always fun or playtime. And I have that with my cousin's children. <laughs> I go play, have fun and do whatever they ask of me. <laughs> So it's a different dynamic. So when a child pulls grandchildren away from grandparents because of a falling out or because of a disagreement or maybe because that child has a memory, I feel as long as you have not been abused mentally, physically, emotionally, or sexually by a parent, and you have not been violated by your parents, and, and maybe you're upset that they set boundaries or maybe they said no to something you wanted and it, maybe they couldn't afford it. But I, I'm hoping that adult children or our children think not just twice, but four or five times 
before they break free and they tear that grandchild away from the grandparent? Is there a way that you can talk with your parent and say, you and I have not always seen eye to eye. Um, I remember things from my childhood, which I'm just kind of confused about, but can we talk about it? Is there any way that you would, we would able to be able to have a conversation in which we would both basically come to terms with the past, have a conversation about it. I get your side of the story, why you did certain things as a parent. I didn't understand why certain things happened, why you made certain choices. So I can come to a place of forgiveness and you can come to a place of acceptance and maybe submit an apology and where the apology is due. But is there a way that, that you can possibly talk to your parent before pulling the grandchildren away? from that grandparent who has been a loving and kind person, has a, been a positive influence, has stepped up to the plate and, and, and really just taken these children. <laughs> Anything you can do, instead of painting a picture that your parent's a bad guy, we're, we're all bad guys. We, we have all had to make tough decisions as parents, but please, when it comes to a grandparent-grandchild relationship, please, consider your child. And if your child has a positive, loving grandparent and has enjoyed spending time with them, please, 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 for the sake of your child, please just talk to your parent before yanking them and pulling them apart. Uh, never make a hasty decision because your child will come back and be very, very angry at you for pulling them away from, nan from their Nana and Popsy. So for the sake of your child, think think five, 10, 20 times about it. Um, if the, if your parent is unstable, is, you know, on drugs or abu abusive or mean or cruel, please, I, I understand that situation, but please think twice or, or multiple times and please do whatever it takes to allow your child to have a relationship with their grandparent. Maybe you have to have your spouse drop your child off so you don't see your parents for a while. Maybe it's just that you need a separation from your parents, but not necessarily your children. So think uh, about it. Consult with, uh, you know, whether it's a pastor or a friend or a therapist, someone who is non-partial. Run it past them before you do permanent damage to your children. That's the last thing you want. The last thing you want is for your child to come back and say, Mom, why did you do this to me? Why did you pull Nana from me? And when the grandparent is gone and no longer living, it's too late. So think about it. Consider it. And that's about it. I hope everyone is having a good day and we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.